If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found, is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Mass today is that of the 28th week in ordinary time. <clears throat> Mass will be offered for the repose of the soul of Brittany Melgren. Let us now turn to God our Father as we ask forgiveness for our sins so that we might be better prepared to celebrate the mysteries of our faith. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory These women represent two covenants, one from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children, not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved, blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who took, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill, he lifts up the poor. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gather in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. people that were around Jesus were hungry for signs. They wanted to see him do something spectacular. And they had already seen him do some things, uh, such as uh, change water into wine, and they also saw him driving demons out. And so they wanted more. And Jesus could not, at that moment, help them understand that he was the sign. He was the one that they were looking for. He was the one that they were meant to understand. And so he used two people from the Old Testament, Jonah and the Queen of the South, the Queen of Sheba. Jonah meant more to the Ninevites than Jesus did to the Jewish people that were listening to him. And the Queen of the South came to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there was a greater than Solomon present to them that had more wisdom and could reveal to them the presence of God but they were not ready for it. So today's gospel gives us the opportunity to think about our awareness of God's presence in our world, where he reveals himself. We know that he created the earth and that he created us and just reflecting on those two mysteries brings us back to the awe and wonder of God's presence in our world. We have enough to be going on with, to deepen our awareness of God's presence in our life, rather than continuing to pursue signs and wonders. 
we search for that presence of God within our own spirit. We try to understand in a much deeper way that presence of God that created us and created the universe. We have signs, the Eucharist. We have the sacraments. And we have the collective faith and expression of charity that's expressed in the community in which we live. God is alive and present in all of those aspects. And so today's reading, I think, gives us that time to reflect on how we look at the presence of God in our life. Or do we continue to look for signs, just as the people did that were surrounding Jesus in this gospel? Confident in the Lord's love and care for us, let us bring before him our prayers and our petitions. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to lead us to a deeper conversion and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord guide their work of serving the needs of their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are oppressed, may God deliver them to safety and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all seminarians, especially those of our archdiocese, as they prepare for a lifetime of service in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the grace of this sacrament bring us closer to Christ and one another. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for those who are suffering in the current outbreak of sickness, that they might be healed. And for the happy repose of all who have died from this illness in recent weeks, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. God, our Father, we place these, our prayers and petitions before you, confident in your loving care for each one of us. We acknowledge your greatness and your presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of de devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Martha the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Raymond. Thank you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Please join me in our prayer to mm -hmm. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our, our Lady, Lady of Guadalupe, Guadalupe in, in these times, times of tribulation, we, we turn, turn to you, O Mother. See with compassion the suffering of your beloved sons and daughters affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your son to have mercy on us, bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and care for the entire world in the wake, wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you, and according to your promise, deliver us from this danger. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Mark the Evangelist, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us.